I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. and my wife Pamela here is with me inviting you to the 2015 Shiloh Conference, God's designated place for a blessing. October the 11th, the 13th through the 15th here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. We planned three days of exciting seminars and, po and powerful worship experiences and would love to have you as our guest. Speakers are Prophetess Janet Floyd from Monroe, Louisiana, Apostle Tommy Quick from Spartanburg, South Carolina, Bishop William Wright Sr. from Memphis, Tennessee, and the Dr. Johnny Hunter from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and of course, yours truly will be ministering the word of the Lord. We will also have the music ministry of Pastor William Murphy, the Upper Room Ch Sanctuary Choir and Praise Team, and our Church House Band. It's going to be great. It's 2015 Shiloh Conference time. Now, honey, we have powerful day sessions that uh, are going to take place daily. Uh, I want you to give the dates and, uh, you know, the Our Own Company Fellowship, which is a, the fellowship uh, that we have that is a part of the Shiloh Conference. People are coming from uh, all over the country to be a part of this. Tell the people what's happening with our day sessions. Thank you. Our day sessions will be Wednesday and Thursday. As our society becomes more and more secularized, the church has a biblical mandate to be the salt that preserves its biblical worldview. The Salt Summit is designed to provide a platform for pastors, leaders, and congregants to have an interactive dialogue regarding the critical issues that are corroding out the fiber of who we are as a Judeo-Christian nation. Pastors and leaders from all denominations are welcome to come and join in the dialogue and help preserve our biblical worldview together. We're going to be talking about a modern day genocide, dealing with the abortion agenda, the effects of the Supreme Court decision on the church, fighting to preserve religious liberties, and the agenda of Black Lives Matter. Another important aspect of the Shiloh Conference is the gathering of the Our Own Company Fellowship. Yes. Now the Bible says this in Acts chapter 4 verse 23. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said unto them. When uh, Peter and John was, were threatened, when they were released, they went back to their own company company. Yes. They went back to like-minded believers. The Our Own Company Fellowship is uh, just that. It is a gathering, a fellowship of like-minded believers. Uh, some of the pastors are uh, in the Church of God in Christ. Some are independent. Some are Baptist. Some are various denominations yes. from, from various places uh, in the United States of America where we gather together and we strengthen one another's resolve. I believe that the greatest thing that one minister can do for another minister is to strengthen their resolve. I believe that there are preachers out there whose hearts are already fixed and their minds are already made up to stand on the word of God and to preach the truth of the Bible. But you know, sometimes when your heart is fixed and your mind is made up and you're standing on the word, sometimes you feel like you're out there by yourself. Well, there's a remedy for those who believe the scripture and who stand on the word of God. You're not alone. There are other like-minded believers who believe just as you do. And the Our Own Company Fellowship have many of these like-minded believers. Yes. Well, uh, one of the times that we meet during the year is doing the Shiloh Conference. And those day sessions are power packed and we discuss and we learn and we gather from each other. So there will be many more uh, speakers and teachers and presenters that will be a part of the Shiloh Conference that we haven't even named yet because many of the Our Own Company Fellowship members will be presenting and teaching and sharing. And these are some powerful men and women from all over the country who love Jesus Christ. Amen. So pastors who are watching there, if you want to be a part of something, we're not a denomination. We, we won't morph into something else. We're not uh, a new movement. We're not trying to start a jurisdiction or anything like that. But it is a gathering 
of like-minded believers. And I stress like-minded because we're not looking for preachers, to be honest with you, who we're trying to convert. We're not looking for people to win over to our way of thinking. We're looking for believers who are already there. Yes. But you want to fellowship with people who believe as you do. And what about what, what is it that we believe? We believe the Bible. Amen. We believe in the inerrancy of Scripture. We believe in fellowship. We believe in doing ministry together. We believe in integrity and righteousness and holiness and walking up right and living what we preach. We believe in the family. We believe in the sanctity of human life. We believe that the God of the Bible got it right when he defined marriage as a union between a man and a woman. We believe that uh, to be heterosexual is the way that God designed for human beings to be. We believe that moms and dads are not optional. We believe, praise the Lord, in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And we believe in good fellowship, and worshiping and praising the God of the Bible. We believe in doing things, honey, to strengthen the, the husband and the wife. Because, you know, our churches are no stronger than the families. And our churches are no stronger than the, than the, than the relationship between the pastor and his wife. Absolutely. We believe in strengthening that holy bond. Yes. So if you would like to fellowship with us, if you would like to be a part, I invite you to come and check us out. Come to Shiloh. Come and be a part of the day sessions. It's going to be great. This year it is called our SALT Summit. Salt Summit. And uh, the SALT Summit, uh, honey, you gave it that moniker. The Lord gave me the, uh, the, the title SALT, but uh, I just think that God used you mightily in saying, you know, we need a SALT Summit. We're calling people to this summit. And uh, even the interesting take on the word summit, we're going higher. Honey, I really believe it's going mm -hmm. to be a great conference. People are coming and yes. I'm just excited about what the Lord is going to do. It's going to be great and we're excited. And listen, I want to invite pastors, pastors who see this. I want you to come. I want you to bring your members. This is not a, a recruiting thing except recruiting people to the agenda. We want you to know what's going on because we are going to push back. We're going to stand our ground. We're going to fight for the lives of the unborn. We will not change our definition of marriage because God hadn't changed the definition. And there are steps that the church can take. We have options. And I want you to be informed and to know what's going on. So it's going to be great. It's going to be Shiloh one more time. It's on, listen, it's uh, October the 11th, that's Sunday morning and Sunday night, the 13th through the 15th, and it's going to be a mighty move of God. We want you to come and join us. Come and be a part of our day sessions. Come and be a part of the seminars. Come and share with us. Bring us your thoughts. Bring us your concerns. And in working together, we're going to be a much stronger church and a much better body of Christ. So I'll see you here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Shiloh 2015, God's designated place for a blessing. Yes. And by the way, our conference theme is salt. salt. Our Lord said, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, then what good is it? My friends, we're not going to lose our saltiness. I'll see you at Shiloh 2015.